Hi, in this video I have taken this question of uh, another question of laws of motion which came in IIT J 90, uh, 2001. Uh, it's a bully question. Now many of you might have might be thinking like it's a very simple question why should we take it and all but uh, uh, here's a new thing in this question which I found so I thought it's, uh, it's awesome to share it. Okay. So we have this string of negligible mass and we have a pulley of mass m. Now mostly the pulley is of no mass, it's the massless pulley but here we have the mass of pulley and we have the block which is uh, which is hanging from the string. The block's mass is capital M. Okay. Now we have to find out what is the force that the pulley is, uh, that the Clamp is applied on uh, is applying on pulley. If we try to apply, if we try to make the FPD of pulley, then we have mass mg, okay, and this clamp is there. We will try to understand that. Now let's try to understand the physics of this question with the help of FPD, okay? Uh, FPD for pulley will be in this manner we have mg so let's suppose that there is no clamp if there is no clamp what will happen the pulley will fall so let's say nothing is there okay this mass m is also not there this clamp is also not there so what will happen the pulley will fall down like this 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 and to the ground okay but in the other case let's say if we have the mass here and the string is you know attached with the wall and there is no clamp clampless okay in this case what will happen this mass capital M it will try to you know push this thing down but uh, since this string is attached to the uh, the the wall okay so this will try to push it towards this okay since this is already stretched so it will try to go in a vertical way, right? This string will try to be in a straight line, but since it is in a curved way, so it will make it the trajectory for the pulley will be in this manner and then it will go down, down, right? So this sort of project, trajectory will be there, curved trajectory. It will not go directly down. So what I'm trying to say is this string is pushing this pulley towards the wall here because um, then this mass m is also there and this mass m if we see this mg is mg and this is tension so this is the video of our uh, mass m okay so the weight is uh, the weight is there and the tension is there tension of the string and if we see the string it is being pulled down by the mass capital M and hence the tension uh, there will be some tension in the string that tension in the string will be carried on to this uh, pulley all right and since this uh, string is a single string, so the tension in the wire will remain same from uh, at this point as well as at this point. All right. And what else? Then the clamp. Now, if the clamp is not there, it will fall down. That means it is trying to hold it up in this direction. And if uh, uh, and you saw that this will go in this direction as well. It will not always go in this direction. So there is something that is holding on to this in this direction as well. Right? So Fx and Fy is there. Now, uh, instead of these two, since we need to just find the force that the clamp is applying onto this pulley, so we can directly take the resultant of this force, which is, let's say, R. All right? And this R is applied onto this pulley. Okay. Now we can easily solve. But wait, we are already missing something here. The string, right? We have the string here which is touching the pulley. 
we already knew that uh, the string the the things when they are in touch they will be applying some normal force so there must be a normal force that should be applied on the pulley and the tension is applied already right so what is the glitch we have this normal force but usually when we solve this question we don't take this normal force and what to do about it so we have this string if we try to make the FBD of the string we have this normal force this tension T right and let's say the weight of this is m1g now this m1g in this case is 0 in some other case it will not be 0 okay if this uh, string has some mass but here it is massless so this component will be 0 but still the normal force is not 0 all right the normal force is if you want to apply the uh, Newton second law you can easily calculate what the value of normal force is so the normal force is nothing but the resultant of tension in I cap and tension in J cap right this is the resultant of this these two forces so normal force is not zero so normal force is not zero then it should be applied here but what's the glitch we don't apply it normally here the glitch is that we are applying it twice either we should apply normal force or we should apply the tensions only if we are applying both of them already the tension force is applied here on the top of it we are again applying the resultant of tension force sorry the mistake over here is this should be in this direction since the string is applying T tension in this direction to the pulley the pulley should apply equal and opposite force in this direction in the opposite direction alright so the normal force will be the resultant of these two tension forces and on the top of these tension forces we are applying again right so why is 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 this a problem why is it not correct that is not correct because this tension force is what we uh, just applied based on our understanding that uh, okay this is pulling it here this is pulling it down and so they should be applied but we are not taking string here so if we make the fbd of pulley with the string then you apply tension no problem then the normal force is internal no problem right but if you apply it without string if you make the FBT of pulley without string the normal force should come and the tension forces should not come so to sum up what I just said is that the there can be two FBTs for our case okay uh, the FBD when we are taking string also in the system all right we have to we can take this with the string because string is massless anyway so its mass is not adding on top of it so we can easily take it um, take it into consideration with the pulley all right and in this case we can take the tension and the reaction is applied here and then the mg is applied here all right but in the case when we are not taking the strings into string into uh, system we should apply the normal force on top of it although the normal force is nothing but the uh, resultant of uh, is nothing but tik plus tj cap right but the right way to do it is to apply a normal force the reaction force is applied over here and then the mg is applied over here all right we will go by this approach anyway but it's important to understand why we are not taking the normal force we generally just write it in this way without understanding that the string is also taken into the system under consideration and we have the mass capital M then it's straightforward to solve from here I'll solve it anyway um, this tension minus mg will be equal to zero as per the system according to this system we so we this let's say is theta so we are they are 
your sin theta minus mg minus t since there is no motion it will be equal to 0 then our cos theta minus t is equal to 0 all right we have tensions value we can put it here and we can get our sin theta minus mg minus so t is nothing but mg sorry equals 0 so cos theta equals mg uh, I made some mistake I think from here uh, you can change the values we have taken capital M over here alright now uh, from equation 1 and equation 2 you can easily find out what sine theta is this will be divided by r and cos theta is whenever you see sine theta and cos theta terms and you don't need to find out the theta uh, in general so what the usual approach is you can easily use this alright um, so we have so we have r equals under root mg plus mg capital square and then um, yes I think we have reached the answer so you can check out from the options as well that we are matching with the C answer yes yep that's all uh, so um, thanks for watching the video uh, for any doubt you can comment in the comment section below Thank you. Yeah.